All right, Clay Hive, today we are talking tools and I figured I also could incorporate a slab because I need to make a slab of leopard print earrings for some orders. So I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me great. I have my wall air conditioning on because it's 98 degrees in Arizona. So I'm just gonna talk as loud as I can without sounding like an idiot. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and then I'm gonna show you some of the tools that I use as I make this leopard print slab. I'm starting with souffle, opening this guy up, sending it through my pasta machine. It's a Lucy Clay machine and I love it, but uh, you can just slide this through if you have a pasta machine. Get that nice smooth texture. And I just run it through, I don't know, five or seven times till I get a pretty like even area. Try to make it into kind of like a square so I can get the most possible earrings I can out of it. Uh, getting there. I like things to be even, kind of weird. A little OCD. All right, so that's kind of gonna work for me. I am going to throw this down on my mat. I use a mat and I tape down uh, wax paper and then I also bake on wax paper. So that's my method, everybody does it different. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take brown, you know, some basic brown, pull some out. My clay is like super soft right now because it's so hot, which sucks, but whatever. I don't really need that much of this, but I'm gonna condition this first. It's actually, it's pretty conditioned because it's so soft. And I'm just gonna roll this into the size I want for my spots. And I really don't like wasting product. I try not to waste product as much as possible. So I'm only gonna use what I think I need, which is honestly not even that much. It's probably like this. And now I have like a pretty even rolly thing and I'm actually gonna kinda just leave that. Uh, that's the dark brown, so that's the inner part of the spot. And then I'm gonna use black for the outer to get that nice and conditioned and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my pasta machine to a tighter um, opening so I'm gonna try to make this black a bit thinner and essentially what I'm doing is I'm covering this with the black just on like half of it and this is gonna be like a cane it's just like a long thing I'm gonna cut <laughs> my uh, words don't always make sense so this guy is looking about the same. I'm just gonna make it even, just using a razor blade. Um, I need to buy these in bulk because I like it super sharp. And I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to put it on here, like so. Take off that, don't wanna waste that. And do you see I've now made this like, thing that's going to be my spots and it has the black around it and that means and then when I'm done I'm going to be slicing this as this is going to make the spots so what I like to do is make this kind of uneven so that the spots aren't all exactly the same so I just go over this with my fingers and make it kind of wonky take my razor blade and then now you see how that kind of looks like a spot and hopefully it'll be a different at different angles. I'm going to cut this into really thin, like little pieces. Hope you can see it. I'm really shaky. Um, I drink a lot of coffee, so that's probably why. So you see that? There's a leopard spot and I'm gonna put it on my thing. And I kind of just put them all over. I'll just chop up a bunch. My razor blade is pretty dull. So that's kind of why this is so difficult. 
and I try to make them like fairly even because I don't want the clay, the slab to get all wonky, but just keep chopping all these little guys up. And basically, I'm just gonna keep putting them on the slab. So I'll put this a little closer, hopefully you guys can see it. Um, this just takes some time. I like to put the spots pretty close to each other because the shape that I'm gonna be cutting, which is my wishbones, um, it's pretty small. So I wanna get as much of the leopard in the shape as possible so you can kind of really tell what it is. Spots. I'm trying to do this pretty quick so this isn't like a really long video. Um, I don't think I would normally be like trying to fly through it, but I kind of keep shaping this. I'm like, I want different spots. Give me different angles. Maybe I'll cut it from the other end. Spots. You see how like some pieces are kind of thicker than others? That's not what I want, but it's because I'm just cutting it by hand. I don't have a slicer. Um, this is what I would just definitely say is a very like beginner slab. I feel like this is a slab anyone could do. It's not really intricate and de uh, difficult, but um, yeah, I just wanted to make something that I felt like you guys could make and really just see the method of making a slab. I know last week uh, the talk was about slabs and we had quite a few messages of just people saying like they don't even know what that is or how to do that or uh, they don't even know how to start. So I know a lot of you guys really already do this and do incredible designs, but I just wanted to make this for somebody who's maybe saying they're just starting out and they've never done a slab. I don't want them to be like touching. So you see how I'm just kind of like, Meh. you don't go there. Boom, shakalaka. Put all these little guys. And I don't know about you guys, but I love leopard print. I think leopard print is dope. Um, I've always loved it. I like leopard print in many different colors, <laughs> but this is just a traditional like brown leopard print for my little wishbones. I wish I had like some cool music on, not my air conditioner, but whatever. Okay, so if you guys can see that, that is about what I'm gonna do. I might get like a few more little pieces out of this guy. Just so I can try to use up as much of the space as possible. I don't wanna waste any clay. And I know this might not be like your type of leopard print, like you might want a different method. This is just what I do. And I think it's really easy. As you can see, I've made this pretty quickly. Okay, so this is the next part. Now it's all uneven, but we put all the spots on there. I use a roller and I use chop, uh, popsicle sticks. So this is a shameless plug. It's not shameless, but you guys should definitely check out Poly Collective. Um, she has these like things that are for this that she sells that she like custom made and I definitely need to pick some up because I'm using the handy dandy popsicle sticks and I think hers have a bit more grip and they're larger so it works really well. But basically I just put my popsicle sticks on the side because it's kind of trying to make everything even and I gently go over the first round and push down all of the shapes. And then they kind of like do weird stuff. They move around. 
they take shape. And I'll do that this way, and I will do that this way. And like, just make sure I've got it pretty even, okay? The next thing I would do is I would texture it, and I'm just using one of these guys. You can find these at your local craft store, online. And now I am just going through and I'm making some, I don't know, fur, whatever you want to call it. And I'm texturizing my slab. And you can do this in many ways, any way you want. There's lots of fun tools for playing with clay, but I just like to kind of make some little lines that kind of look like fur. I don't know if they look like fur, but for me, it's just a little more interesting. And then I'm gonna take my cutter and I am going to, obviously I would do the whole thing, but for sake of time, I'm going to cut out my shape and I have a leopard print wishbone. I'm gonna make it nice and even. I'm gonna smooth out the sides to the best of my ability and I'm gonna bake that sucker. So I hope you guys like this little tutorial today. We'll try to have some more of these along the way. And we're so grateful for you being part of this community. And adios.